Uh, hello, Arlene. Right now I am uh, joining text to the new dress uh, with daisies. It's such summer dress. And here, interesting moment, I used uh, cotton and viscose, uh, so you also can combine because you have Sapphire looks already. Uh, we can make tunics by using sapphire looks. Motifs can be made from uh, cotton, and in such way it will be also elastic. Such a project, a dress, or summer top. Also here I made such long sleeves, also with uh, different flowers. And here at the bottom we have all daisies, and this light green is a viscose thread. So now I will attach this. The tags here and I want to show you how to make this cord. Yes, uh, I will show you this uh, pattern how to create this tag. It's very simple. Uh, also for everyone who will watch this video on YouTube channel, this new dress has such measurements. So bust is 41, waist uh, 36 inches, hips 43, length of the dress is uh, 40 and half, arm at the upper part, uh, yes, it's 15 and half, and sleeve length is 24 and a half. Like this new project made in very light uh, green colors, uh, white and yellow, yes, center part of these flowers we have. And also at the back side, we have such a butterfly. <laughs> at the back side, it's a really big one here at the middle. So let's attach this one. And next, I will show pattern how to create this cord. So let's take the thread. We will start to create this cord so I am making the first loop just like this circle catch this point where two threads cross each other and start to make first loop okay I will show you closer right now so we have the first loop after two more so in total I start from switching loops after one time yarn over to the first loop insert your hook and make a double crochet stitch just standard one after one chain loop one time yarn over and here i will take uh, this um, loop or thread that we have here at the bottom of this double crochet stitch previous one just insert hook below this thread i will make more light so insert below this thread once again it was double crochet so one time yarn over below this thread that we have here at this left side and uh, create double crochet stitch just standard one again one chain loop to move up one time yarn over uh, now we have again double crochet as previous stitch and again to this thread that we clearly see at the left side make again double crochet finish to make it uh, one chain loop one time yarn over again to this last stage that we made double crochet insert hook below this one thread that we clearly see and make double crochet once again and like this uh, we should create really long cord lace ribbon i don't know how you call it in english in the right way just continue to do the same all the time one chain loop one time yarn over insert hook below this one thread make again double crochet one chain loop and like this so one chain loop one time yarn over take this point and make here around this one thread double crochet stitch after uh, we need to iron and stretch this ready cord or lace ribbon i will show you how, uh, how to do this just now we need to make a lot of stitches like this just to create really long uh, cord lace ribbon so all the time we are making one chain loop and one double crochet stitch just we should insert this crochet hook in direct into the direct point yes here below this one thread and we need to try to make everything with the same tension of thread just to get the same size of all of this all stitches during our work and you will get uh, just beautiful uh, beautiful uh, shape because everything will be in the same length all the stitches i mean yes and now it looks like this so let's continue to make it 
So I made it really long. It's okay for this uh, project. I can attach tag to the dress. So now I will fix uh, this workings right here by pin. And next I need to iron and stretch this lace ribbon or cord. And after I will use it. So I will show you how, how I am using iron just right now for this thread. Okay. I am using steam iron and uh, for silk we have here such uh, silk, yes, but also steam. Uh, here I have like echo at the upper part. I will show you one moment. Here, this one I am using for silk and silk we have here also. Yes. Okay, and now very carefully just stretch it. We need to stretch this all. To see the, the total size, yes, maximum size of this. We need to stretch it and make it just straight also because <laughs> it's like twisted right now okay it's perfect good now i can use it for next step Let's see how it looks like this. Okay, now let's take the dress, new dress Daisy, and let's attach this. Okay, just I will attach it here uh, around this all. And now also tags. Just for this video, I'm using such one. It's just sample to show you. We should make it in the same way. Place it. Just and now I can attach and create a circle. Just be careful with the side, yes, how to join it correctly. And now hold the working thread and attach. It's not good to see to the beginning just I can make few just stitches to attach it first one is single crochet second one should be this double crochet because distance is too big and I need to make like straight line I think so and next also I can I will hide this tail. I will iron and stretch it also. Also we can make it very very uh, neat just by using needle. Yes, just uh, we can leave uh, some part of thread and join it with needle very very carefully just to create very tender joining. Yes. So I will make double crochet and leave some part of thread. And I will work with needle. Move it to this direction. Take the needle with big eye. And after this point where we join it two sides, we can iron and stretch also to make it just straight. Okay, and now just I need to insert this needle here. And between stitches, in the middle of stitches, I will go a little bit to this direction and after go back to this direction next move back 
and go also to this area between stitches in the middle of stitches just okay it will stay here and now i can cut the first tail and the second tail also we need to go between stitches just to fix this tail very very good and this hole i will make smaller just right now i can do this like this and after i can go to these stitches just i will go to this direction after go back in the same area and that's all we will fix the yarn okay now i can cut this thread very close uh, when uh, when i'm hiding threads tails in my motifs made from viscose i am working like this three times in the same place i need to go like this with needle next go back and after a third time the same in such way we will fix viscose very very good next we can cut the tail so you can see uh, i joined everything now i just need to iron this part but uh, for this video it's this, this is all <laughs> that i want to show you I hope you will understand how to do this. It's not difficult, just try and I'm sure you will make it. So, and this new dress is also ready. A lot of months of work, just <laughs> one daisy is really not so simple to create. Thank you so much, uh, Arlene, also for your orders and thank you so much for your kind words. I am very happy that you like it, our blouse Lala. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye-bye for now.